Why, hello there! This is a tutorial brought to you by Tutville.com. Make sure to visit Tutville.com for some more great tutorials. Uh, in this tutorial, I'm just going to uh, start off by showing you the environment that we're going to be working with and uh, how to set up our, our environment for our Flash website that we will be making uh, progressively as these tutorials go on. Uh, so when you first start up Flash, you will have this window here where you can choose what kind of Flash file you're going to create. We're going to be creating a Flash file with uh, ActionScript 3.0. Well, you will never be using the 2.0. Uh, we will be using the ActionScript file. That will be in the future, though, so you don't have to worry about that right now. So for now, just go ahead and click on the Flash file ActionScript 3.0. After you do that, uh, you will get to this. This is the main layout of Flash, the environment. Uh, if it doesn't look exactly like this and you want it to, you can just go ahead and go right up here and change the mode to the classic mode. Uh, this environment should look pretty familiar to you if you're at all familiar with uh, the Adobe environments. Most of their programs have, have pretty similar environments. Uh, the first thing that we need to do when we're going to create a new Flash website is we need to change the size of our document. Uh, to do that, it's going to be over here in this corner. If this isn't showing, uh, make sure that your your selection tool right here is clicked. Uh, and then if you come back, this should be up. It's the properties panel. Uh, we can change the frames per second if we would like. I usually just leave that at 31. 31 is usually a a pretty good frame rate. I haven't had any problems with that. Uh, our size. Uh, I think right now the most commonly used resolution is still the 1024 pixel by the 768. Um, that's not very big, but it is, I think, the most commonly used, so it's usually a good, good place to start. And then you hit OK, and now we have our new, our new size. And then right here, of course, you can change the, the stage color. It doesn't really matter if you change it. It doesn't mean that the background is going to be that color. It does, but there's ways to have a transparent background or whatever you'd like to do. But I usually just keep this white. Uh, I, I do change it to black sometimes if I'm working with uh, white letters or white text or images, whatever. Uh, but for now, we'll just leave it at white. Um... Over here we have our tools palette. Uh, I think you would know what most of these do. We have some selection tools, the free transform, you can transform text and images. Uh, if you notice, if any of the tools have a little triangle in the bottom right corner, what that means is there's a, a tool uh, behind it or underneath it, however you want to look at that. And to, to see it, you just click on it again, and then you have the other options. Um, this one has the gradient transform tool, which is the same as the, the free transform tool, except you can uh, use it on gradients. Uh, the 3D rotation tool is new for CS4. We might get into using that in the future. Not sure yet. Probably not with this website that we're going to be making, but uh, maybe in the future. Lasso, uh, the pen tool. You know the pen. You can make some cool designs if you want. Uh, text tool, you know what that does, line tool, um, nothing very special about that either. Uh, we got our shapes, we can make some different shapes, uh, pencil if you feel like drawing, paint, uh, spray brush, uh, we got the bone tool, that's also new. Uh, once again, probably not in this, this series of Flash tutorials for the website, but maybe in the future uh, we will get into showing uh, how to use the bone tool to make animations. It, what it does is it kind of gives them a, you can give them joints in their knees and, and elbows, kind of helps them walk, and you can make walking animations, moving animations, it's pretty cool. Uh, we have the paint bucket, you can fill colors in, uh, eraser of course, uh, here's your color choices, uh, this is the fill. Um, so if you let's say we're making a square right now the middle of our fill 
Well, I'm sorry about that. My dogs are barking, but I think we're just going to have to listen to that maybe a little bit. Anyways, we have the colors here. We can choose the fill and the stroke. So if we have this, take a square and we draw. There we go. We have the blue stroke, as you can see, and the yellow fill. That's about it for now. We'll get into the publishing settings and publishing later. That should be good for now. So please make sure to visit tutville.com for some more great tutorials. It's a great environment where you can rate the tutorials, comment them, and embed your own. So I'll see you next time. Thanks. Bye.